We're in the fiber optics lab with Doug Gerard, the fiber optics group leader. The VLA antennas produce a tremendous, a prodigious amount of data, hundreds of gigabytes per each antenna. And to process these data, we need to bring them to the control room. To do this, we use fiber optics. And Doug, tell us what goes on around here. Well, the fiber optics laboratory is uh, used here to create and maintain the fiber optic cables for the EVLA. Uh, there is probably tens of thousands of fiber optic connections that have mm -hmm. to be made in order to transmit all of this data. Uh, we're here with uh, Linda Majors, who's a fiber optic te technician. Uh, she creates uh, most of these connections for the fiber optic cables. She's done hundreds of thousands of connections by herself? Yes, she has. Over the course of 10 years or mm -hmm. so, nearly every single one of them was done right here in this laboratory. Uh, Linda, if you could start to demonstrate how you uh, make one of the fiber optic connections, uh, I'll continue to talk about the fiber optic cables. The fiber optic cables are actually just a very, very small piece of glass. Uh, the cables themselves are only about the size of, the, uh, of a human hair, so they're very fragile um, uh, cables that we have to deal with. The Kevlar jacket uh, that surrounds the uh, piece of glass is used for protection to prevent any kind of breakage or stretching or tearing or anything like this. Each cable might have anywhere from a single pair, mm -hmm. a dozen, or even up to several dozen fiber optic uh, mm -hmm. um, cables inside of them. Mm -hmm. So then you just put a little adapter so that it will fit in the oven and you just put it in there and let it cook for about 20 minutes and then it's ready to go to the Sorry. polisher. Okay. So after it comes out of the oven, then you take and you scribe it, then you take this and you do what they call air polish and you like to get the, the little sharp end off of the glass Actually, and you put it in, into the she puts a polisher small itself. Camera. The five diamond grit first after the air polish and then I go to the one micron diamond for the the next one and you just have to tighten these all down mm -hmm. and then you just uh, let it polish usually I do it about a minute and 12 seconds and then I just go to the next the next grit this is the device <clears throat> we call the umbilical and it's actually used uh, to connect the antennas fiber optic cables uh, to the pad where it sets down there. Uh, the, there's actually 12 fibers that connect up the antenna, although most of these are not used. There's spares in case problems happen. We actually only use five, cables at a, five fibers at a time. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's in this protective jacket is, of course, due to the harsh environment that we're at up here in the desert to protect it from blowing dust and debris and everything. And just I the suppose uh, also to mention small animals that might uh, take, like, take little bites out of these things. Absolutely. So we have, what, 72 pads in the array? Yes, And each is. one is outfitted with a cable system just like this. Absolutely. 